Florida is officially monitoring nine people for possible exposure to Ebola. Health officials say these are low-risk cases, but it's part of a new approach to stopping the spread of the virus. News Channel Shannon Bankin joins us now live with the very latest on these new developments. Shannon? Well, good evening, Gail. The state is not telling us very much information about these individuals, but we do know that they all recently returned from Africa, and state officials tell me this new type of monitoring is the new norm. Governor Rick Scott wants anyone returning to Florida from West Africa to be monitored for signs of Ebola. The State Department of Health responded this week. It is now monitoring nine people. My gut feeling is these nine are going to be okay. Tampa doctor Karen Toodle is glad Florida is reacting to the risk, but hopes Floridians don't overreact. I'm not worried, frankly, um, or not for my own safety. I'm not worried because Ebola is not very contagious. I mean, it's infectious. Once you get it, it's serious, but it's very hard to catch. As for the people being monitored, here's what we don't know. The state won't say where they are in Florida or what they were doing in West Africa. What we do know is that the Florida Department does not consider them high risk and says health department staff will visit them twice a day and check their temperatures. They are not under quarantine and officials maintain there is little risk to the public. You can't catch it from passing them in the airport terminal. You can't catch it from them living in your neighborhood. Toodle says she doesn't have a problem with the 21 day monitoring ordered by the governor. But she worries about states that are taking more extreme measures. But I don't know that quarantining people and and hot or in hospitals or tents or wherever. I don't. I think that that's a little much. Again, none of these individuals have developed Ebola symptoms, and they are only being monitored because they recently traveled to an area where they could have been affected. So no quarantine, no isolation during this time, right? That is right. They are not being quarantined. Actually, they are free to live their normal lives, but they are going to be visited twice a day by healthcare workers who will continue to check their temperature. Gail. All right. Thank you for that. And you can keep up with the latest Ebola news at WFLA.com. We have a special